Hey everybody, Dan Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Charming Empire along Kagemi to Togawa's route. Unfortunately, the last episode was the engagement episode where we had the ball and it was announced that we were engaged. Of course, once again, we do not know who to. But let's see what happens in the aftermath because, uh, yeah, we didn't really get to see much happen after that. So you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Ever since my sudden engagement was announced, I've been ignoring the bustle around me and moping alone in my room. I wish it was all just a bad dream. But no matter how much I wish, I realize it was real when I wake up to my bedroom's high ceiling. My duty is to marry a foreign prince. I think back to what Soshi said. To him, I'm just a pawn to strengthen his relations with, with other countries. I've heard about strategic marriages, but I never thought I'd play a part in one. I thought he told us that as soon as we got to the palace, really. I didn't even see this coming. I knew because I'm a girl, I'd marry into someone else's family one day. But I didn't even dream it would be like this. I've been forced to ignore my feelings and marry for the sake of my country. I don't even know my future husband's name, face, or where he's from. I can't stop sighing with my head full of negative thoughts. So far, Soshi hasn't filled me in on any details other than the fact that my fiancé is from another country. I'm really just a pawn. But if Soshi called me to the palace with this in mind, he's not contradicting his plans. Soshi changed. This wouldn't have happened if he was the same Soshi I knew as a child. I don't want to marry a foreign prince. I want to marry Kagimitsu. That's how I really feel. But now that my engagement's public, I can't do anything about it. If I back down, the country's trust in its rulers will drop. I hate this engagement, but I don't have the courage to run away. If I get married to a foreign prince, I'll never see Kagimitsu again. I haven't seen Kagimitsu since the ball. He must be busy or something, because he doesn't even come by for my lessons. Maybe Sochi isn't letting him. Or maybe he's just too sad. I wonder how he feels about my engagement. From his reaction at the ball, it seems like he didn't know anything about the engagement until my brother announced it. But I'm kind of relieved he didn't know. I would be much more upset if Kagimitsu had something to do with the whole thing. I would have been so sad if he'd been hiding it from me this whole time. But why would Soshi hide this from him? Kagimitsu is Soshi's right-hand man. I even heard he serves as Soshi's chief of staff. <gasps> oh, maybe, um... Maybe since Kagimitsu's the leader of the resistance, he's been working on that whole angle this whole time. To overthrow Soshi and take me for himself. I guess this explains why Kagimitsu said he doesn't un understand what Soshi's thinking. A sudden knock at the door interrupts my thoughts. Yes? Come in. Speak of the devil, Kagimitsu comes walking in. About time, man. Kagimitsu! You've neglected me for so long! I haven't seen him since the ball. I've been wanting to see him so much that all my negative feelings disappear as soon as he comes in. He smiles when I run over to him. It's been a while. Since the ball, right? Yeah, since the ball. What brings you here tonight? Kagimitsu has never visited my room at night. Oh, you know what that means. I wanted to take you to a festival. If you're up to it, that is. Are we sneaking out? A festival? Kagimitsu's invitation is so unexpected that I give him a puzzled look. And there's always a festival in town around now, but it looks like they're going all out this year because of all that's happening. All that's happening? I understand the hidden meaning in Kagimitsu's smile. The town is probably going all out to celebrate both the rebuilding after the fire and my engagement. It might not be a happy thing for me, but it gives the townspeople something to celebrate. Strengthening relations with other countries will help the country grow. Especially after the fire damage, the people are probably hopeful that my marriage will help improve the state of the town. I can't blame them for wanting improvement. But even though I understand that, it doesn't make me feel any better. I can't go to the festival like this. Sorry. I bow my head to Kagimitsu. I appreciate your invitation, but I'm not really in the mood. Suddenly, Kagimitsu grabs my hand. Kagimitsu? I look up at him, but he just stares at me without a word. Uh... I can do either one. I want to hold his hand back. I quietly gave Kagimitsu's hand a squeeze. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? 
Well, I couldn't help you when you needed it most. That's not true. Thanks to you, I... Thanks to Kagimitsu, I've been able to survive the palace lifestyle. Kagimitsu cups my cheek with his other hand. I want to help you with everything from now on. Kagimitsu? Can you close your eyes for a second? Close my eyes? Kagemitsu nods with a smile. Why is he asking me to close my eyes all of a sudden? Even though I think it's strange, I do as I'm told. This way, and watch your step. Is he taking me to the festival anyway? Kagemitsu pulls me firmly by the hand to an unknown destination. Even though I know Kagemitsu's with me, it still makes me nervous to walk around with my eyes closed. Yeah, it's still kind of scary. Um, where are we going? We're almost there. Is this my balcony? I hear a door screech open, and the night air tickles my face. Why are we going out on the balcony? Oh, good timing. Fireworks? Good timing? For what? I have no idea what's going on. All right, open your eyes. Akagimitsu signal, my eyes pop open. Wow! I can see the town decorated with its summer festival lights down below. It's beautiful! I've never seen so many lights in my life! The festivals in the countryside were much smaller and never had fancy decorations like this. What do you think? I wanted to see this with you. A big smile spreads across my face. Thanks, Kagimitsu. I've never seen something so beautiful in my whole life. I'm glad to see you smile. I was worried to hear that you shut yourself in your room after the ball. What, I'm actually allowed out of my room now? Shouldn't I be motivated to go down into the town now? Now that he's cheered me up some? Kagimitsu gives me a sad smile. Kagimitsu. He must feel guilty for what happened. It's especially possible if he blames himself for Soshi's personality change. I need to tell him that he shouldn't feel guilty, but... When I peer into Kagimitsu's eyes... I can't tell what he's thinking. While you're here, I wanted to show you how beautiful this town can be. You mean... I suddenly remembered all the negative things I'd forgotten when Kagimitsu came through the door. You won't ever be able to show me this again. Kagimitsu looks shocked for a second. He tries to say something, but he can't find the right words. I quickly try to lighten the mood. S sorry for being a downer. It's just the truth. That's right. I won't be able to see the scenery with Kagemitsu ever again. I won't be around here next summer. Kagemitsu stares at me as I try to convince myself. And that's why I wanted to enjoy tonight's festival in any possible way. Kagemitsu laughs a little. Something like this happened once when we were kids. He nods to himself as he nostalgically remembers those days. And you caught a cold the day before the festival, but you still wanted to go. So I took you somewhere we could see the lights. Oh, yeah. I suddenly remembered that day. Kagemitsu held my hand back then, too. Do you remember? I nod. Now that I remember that day, I wonder how I could ever have forgotten. I remember now. That was so long ago. Kagemitsu's nostalgic smile slowly clouds over. Kagemitsu? I'm really glad I got to see this with you. When Kagemitsu smiles weakly... I give his hand a squeeze. Aww. I'm really glad I got to see this with you, too. I promise myself to remember this day forever. Even if I go to another country, this day will always stay fresh in my mind. I won't ever forget my days with you. Kagemitsu. We both fall silent and turn toward the sparkling summer festival lights. Our hands stay conjoined until the last light goes out. Oh, it's a long time, I think. And that was another short one, so we're going to go ahead and read episode 11 as well. Over the next few days, it feels like my life is a whirlwind. I couldn't be unhappier as the servants run around preparing for my wedding. <sighs> when they finally leave me alone, I let out a big sigh. Another awful day of picking out wedding dresses and things to take from my dowry. Usually, these kind of things would make a bride happy, but my heart isn't in it so I let the servants make decisions for me. I don't want to get married to a foreign prince. I know that my marriage means a lot to this country, but still, I... No matter how I feel, the preparations keep moving forward. 
It pains me to watch so much that I shut myself up in my room more often than before. I feel bad for the servants, but they have to at least let me run away from this part. Oh, are you there, princess? Yes, come in. Excuse me. The maid promptly comes in with her hands full of dresses. How many dresses do I have to look at? Is this one okay for your wedding gown? <sighs> All of the dresses are beautiful, and I would happily wear them to anything but my own wedding. I don't care, just leave me alone. I see, my apologies. The maid bows and leaves the room with her usual poker face. Maybe that was mean. But I don't think I can even force a smile right now. I want to be alone. I don't want to see anyone. Except for Kagimitsu. I let myself fall on my bed and gaze up at the ceiling as I remember better days. When I first came here, I'd have given anything to go back to the countryside. But it's sad enough to say goodbye to the ceiling. It looks like I've grown attached to the palace. I mean, the palace is where... There's another quiet knock at the door. What do they want now? I get depressed at the thought of having to answer another question about my marriage. Come in. I reluctantly answer the door. It's me. Can I come in? Kagemitsu? It turns out it's not a servant, but Kagemitsu who's knocking at my door. Pleasant surprise. What about work? Kagemitsu is always buried in work around this time, so it's weird that he's here to visit me. I'm sorry for stopping by all of a sudden. Am I bothering you? No, no, of course not. In fact, I'm really happy that he's here. I was just worried about your work. I know you've been busy lately. Kagimitsu is suddenly busy now because Soshi arranged my marriage completely on his own. It was so out of the blue that Kagimitsu has to deal with the situation both at the palace and at the country I'm going to. The one in charge of all the wedding details is none other than Kagimitsu himself. So, both Kagimitsu and I are getting tortured with this whole thing. Why is Soshi making Kagimitsu do all this? Uh, on purpose, because he knows what's up. He's being a dick about it. I felt awkward ever since I knew about it. Personally, I don't want Kagimitsu to deal with my wedding. Don't worry about my work. I got a break today. Besides, I finished everything I can do. Kagimitsu glances around my room. The servants left the trunk here, but it's still empty. I couldn't stand to watch them pack my things, so I sent them away before they could start. I know I'm leaving soon, but I want to put things off for as long as I can. I see you haven't started packing. Sorry, I know I have to pack, but it's too sad to see everything go. It's all part of the process. If this all came as a shock to me, it must have been even worse for you. Yeah, I was definitely shocked. There's no other way to describe it. For someone like me who grew up in the countryside, it's completely unimaginable. Sometimes, I thought it was a dream. I wish it was a dream. But this is definitely reality, and there's nothing I can do about it. Do you wish the time you spent with me was a dream too? No, of course not. Well, it doesn't matter which one I say, but I'm going to say no, definitely. No. I turned to Kagemitsu. I wanted to know how much you saved me. I'm so happy that I met you. Kagemitsu played a big role in helping me get through my days at the palace. Thank you. I'm happy that we met again. And I made more memories together, too. But I think we're on the same wavelength. We are? Kagemitsu nods. I wish these dreamlike days would last forever. What? Dreamlike days? Kagemitsu just smiles. Well, why don't we go into town? Into town? We were interrupted by the fire last time. So I want to give you a proper tour. I pretend not to hear the for the last time part at the end of his sentence and nod. Sounds good to me. I haven't been to town since the fire, but it's fully restored to its original state. The town was revived because of you. No, I just helped. It's the townspeople who rebuilt the town. Kagemitsu looks around with pride. You really love this town. You talk too highly of me. Huh? I stop in my tracks and look up at Kagemitsu. No, you're just too humble. I'm not the man you think I am. Oh, what are you talking about? You're you. Well, I guess you're right. Thanks. Kagemitsu's smile looks a little bit sad. Sorry for acting strange. Hey, we've been walking a lot. Let's take a rest. 
Okay. Kagemitsu takes me to his favorite cafe. Hey, Tamba! I'm glad the cafe's up and running again, too. The owner looks great. I nod at the owner when he looks our way. Huh? Oh, thanks for worrying about him. Kagemitsu looks a little awkward. What's wrong? Oh, sorry. I was just a little surprised that you remembered the owner. Well, this is the first cafe you ever bought me to. <laughs> You're sweet. I suddenly looked down. I actually said something kind of embarrassing. When I look around the cafe to hide my embarrassment, something seems different and I feel people looking at us. Um, Kagemitsu? Hmm, what is it? He takes a sip of coffee as if he doesn't notice anything strange. I feel like the owner has something to tell you. The owner is staring at Kagemitsu from behind the bar. And don't you think it's your imagination? But it feels like he's staring at you. If Kagemitsu hasn't been here since the fire, it makes sense the owner has some things to talk about. And don't worry about me, just go talk to him. Kagemitsu pauses for a second before nodding in agreement. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Kagemitsu stands up from his seat and walks over to the owner. It looks like Kagemitsu wants to talk to the owner too. I watch him walk away. Mm, what are you two talking about? Kagemitsu hasn't come back yet. A long time passes after I send Kagemitsu to talk with the owner, and my teacup is empty. Where did they go? When I look around, Kagemitsu and the cafe owner are nowhere in sight, and the cafe has started getting full. I don't want to order on my own, but I feel bad for taking up a table. I should leave the cafe. I stand up. I'll know when Kagemitsu comes back if I stand in front of the cafe. I hear Kagemitsu's voice when I step outside. Why did you try to contact me here? What if someone catches us? It's definitely exactly where I knew it was going. How long am I supposed to wait? I thought we were going to start a revolution. A revolution? What are they talking about? I peer into a nearby alleyway and find Kagemitsu with the owner. Don't rush things. I'll come soon enough. As soon as Soshi's sister gets married. Oh, I see. He wants me to be out of the country so that I won't get caught in the fighting or anything. Kagemitsu? I don't understand what they're talking about, but it doesn't sound like anything Soshi would be happy to hear. Uh, yep, I don't think so. What did I tell ya? I knew it. <laughs> he's probably the leader of the resistance. And maybe he's just working for the resistance, but he's probably the leader. It's like every single route. The main guy has to be the leader of the resistance. Well, we'll find out more in the next video, which will probably be two episodes again as well, because these have all been kind of short. So, hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.